Welcome, welcome to Patrick, Patrick Genua, who is our new one of our um, uh, 2020 rising stars. Congratulations, Patrick. Thanks very much. Yeah, real, yeah. Uh, real honour to re receive the award. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Tell me, you're a, a graduate from QUT from 2015? Yeah, yeah. So I, um, I was born and raised in Brisbane and um, after high school went on to do the BFA in acting there. Uh, it was mm -hmm. under Diane Eden at the time that I um, went through the course. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a pretty hectic three years. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, I kind of love the time being away yeah. from the industry, I guess, and, and being home to study was um, was nice to have that kind of isolated environment. For, sure. Uh, yeah. When, when were you aware of the acting bug? bug? When did it hit? Um, well, I, I lived in, it's a funny story about how I kind of came into acting. I um, lived in Singapore for two years in 2005 and mm -hmm. 2006. And um, yeah, a kid from Australia who re really only kind of kicked the AFL ball around and didn't have a whole lot to do with <laughs> acting was, was struggling to make friends. Um, and so I joined the drama club at my primary school just as a way to make, make some new pals. And um, I ended up getting scouted for a TV show over there um and i went to the audition barreled the camera for the whole two scenes and the director kind of looked around the other side of the camera and asked me how often i see actors look into the camera in films um the lesson there was to not stare at the camera obviously but yeah I, I ended up booking the job and um it was for a network that was basically the equivalent of nickelodeon for singapore and so that was a full-time job for about six months filming doing publicity and voiceovers and um yeah having other an sorry having an adventure yeah it was incredible it was incredible every day was different um i was playing a kid who could talk to plants so that was pretty that was pretty fun um and yeah it was amazing when i wasn't at school i was on the set um and mm -hmm. you know I'd, I'd leave the house at five in the morning get home at midnight and dinner would be in the oven for me and um yeah i was 10 at the time so it was a pretty incredible experience for a 10 year old to kind of be thrown into with you know having no acting experience at all um mm -hmm. and yeah a long time ago now so but, uh, yeah um, let's jump forward now you live you're living in um in brisbane in queensland tell me um was qut your goal i mean you know what, when did formal training become your focus and um, yeah and uh, when, was it just QUT? Did you want to do it at home or did you look at, did you audition for the other schools? Well, I, um, throughout high school, I'd done a little bit of acting. I had a guestie on Sea Patrol, but I wasn't completely convinced that that was it for me. I think because I came into it quite early. I, it's, it's what I knew and, and what I had had a really fun experience kind of being a part of. Um, so I, I, it, I kind of went through the drama schools and a lot of people were telling me that it's really unlikely that I'd get in first year out of high school. So my mentality was, okay, I'll, I'll audition for QT. I probably won't get in because that's what I was told by everyone. Um, and I'll go and travel for three years. And if it's still what I want to pursue, then that's what I'll pursue. Um, but yeah, I was fortunate to, to make it through the three rounds of auditions. Um, and it was just, the perfect environment for me to be focused and surrounded by passionate people, great teachers, um, and just a rotation of, of wonderful influences in the teachers that were brought in who are past graduates, actors in the industry, directors in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, it, we, yeah, it was kind of within three months, I was set that this is what I wanted to do and this is what I wanted to pursue because the environment was so invigorating and so exciting um and just a levels above i think what i had previously experienced as an actor as a kid um sure. you know i kind of i guess took to learn the seriousness of it um and mm -hmm. and started to learn about the craft and and sure. became curious about those skills and, and honing them so Mm. Yeah. Tell me, yeah. Um, because I'm fascinated by this kind of journey of an actor. Because I mean, there you are, and as I say, anytime I speak to third year graduates, I say to them, "Look, 
you know, this is the best year of your career almost. It's like you're doing yeah. great plays, great roles, great characters yeah. in front of all the great people. How do you de- how do you then deal with the downtime after that? Because every day in your three year training was was allocated, was scheduled. How do you yeah? How do you self self motivate after that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a really important question. I think something that um, isn't really considered that much when you're when you're in such an all consuming environment as an artist every single day. Um, but I think what's helped me is routine. Routine's just been so crucially important for me, Mm -hmm. maintaining a routine which is productive, a routine which I enjoy and is sustainable. Um, And that can mean so many different things for heaps of different people. Um, Reading plays and... What sort of things are in your routine? Yeah, for me, I, I like to stay around my industry. I like to go and see plays and get engaged with my community um and just get amongst it as much as possible keeping your finger on the pulse as well in terms of what is coming up what kinds of projects are in the pipeline i think that's really mm-hmm. vital just to kind of aid your your preparedness for for what is to come mm-hmm. so that when you do get that audition that's for a you know 100 million dollar us feature you're not flabbergasted at, at kind of the fact that this opportunity has come your way. You've been prepared for it. You know that logistically this is something that's been in place um, for, for a while. So you can just be a bit more attuned to what's happening. And I guess on the same page as, as you guys, you know, um, mm-hmm. you, you, it, it's your industry. So you kind of have to be educated sure. about what, what's going on and who's, who's around and who's, mm. who's about to start shooting on what might be, it's your adopted a project family. that comes your way. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I like to think of the industry made up of a, a very strong community. That's kind of the lens that I have always had on it. So, do you have, as an actor and or somebody a member of the creative arts, do you have this kind of creative brains trust? This kind of trusted, trusted yeah. gang. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I like to surround myself with the right kinds of people. You know, other creatives that are passionate and um, don't hold much bitterness towards the hard slog and the long haul of this gig. Um, Mm -hmm. They're the kinds of people I I like to keep close um, Mm -hmm. because they motivate me and we motivate each other to to stay in the game and to to keep fighting, I guess. Mm. Um, And just having, you know, a reliable group of friends to self-test with is, is also really important. You know, I've got mates that I can call up and I know that they're going to commit to a tape for me and they're going to give it as much as I'm giving it. So, yep. um, yeah, that's really important to have that. Yeah, that creative kind of hive is, yeah, vital to find. Right. And, and you know, it, it's it's very accessible. Yeah. Very Tell accessible, me, I think. Your your credit since leaving, um, uh, leaving QUT, you've been able, seemingly been able to sort of have a nice balance, a nice mix and move between theatre and screen. Um, yeah. You know, so theatre credits including kind of State Theatre Company of South Australia, Belvoir, La Boite, Sydney Theatre Company, et cetera. Um, do you see a difference in terms of do you, do you approach a, a character on stage different to a character on screen? Um, yes, certainly. I think a lot of the difference comes in the, the nature of the process. I think with with theatre, you have an extended period of time to sure. kind of warm to the tone of the piece um, through rehearsals. So I always like to see what the lighting designer has in mind or the sound designer has in mind and the set designer and costume and all the different intricacies that the audience experience because that kind of helps me, I think, tune into to what the world is going to be for the, the people that come and see our, our story. Um, and that's a real, real creative privilege, I think, to have six weeks to delve into a story in every aspect that's going to be a part of it. Um, yeah. With film, it's a lot different because it's it's quick, it's fast, it moves very quickly. So I think I have to rely a lot on the autonomy of, of my own research, um, my own script work and, and development and just making sure that I'm sharp and ready for the day. Um mm-hmm. Meetings with the director, obviously, uh, uh, tend to be quite tight in pre-production. So getting the most of that, asking the right questions um, are very important. Um, 
and a lot of it is kind of reflexive to 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 what the other actor brings which you don't sometimes you don't get that privilege of re rehearsal for film and tv so it comes to on the day and you're under pressure and you've got to you've got to kind of react to what they're bringing and and that kind of informs the tone Having sure. said that, there's a beautiful spontaneity to that as well, which is a lot of fun when you don't know yeah. what's going to happen and you don't know what the other, the other actor opposite you is going to serve. That's when you get to play. Um, and so, yeah, that that's something I kind of enjoy both of those dynamics just sure. as much. I, I don't think I've got a favourite. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you yeah. have any... Are there any actors or actresses that sort of inspire you, that sort of, you know, you regard as kind of... Did you watch oh. them, sort of, you know, get inspiration from th their work? Yeah, there's so many. I mean, off the top of my head, um, uh, Michelle Williams is an actor that comes to mind. I just, I, I don't know how she holds the entire world behind her eyes at times. She's just <laughs> incredible. I think I could, I could watch her do anything. Um, Sam Rockwell is another actor that I've, I've really admired over the years. He's just got this unpredictability and this irreverence about him, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, on stage, there's a lot of actors that I, um, you know, I always get excited to see what they do with the role um, when their name pops up in something. Um, Rahel Rahman yeah. is is a, a wonderful actor. He's a good friend. And um, yeah, I just love to see that dude play on stage because it's always so so exciting and he's so committed and he's so there mm. um mm. yeah i mean there are so so many sure you mentioned michelle williams and uh, sam rockwell and i think of you know you you use the word spontaneity instinctiveness you know for for the kind of you know for screen work um did you do you do you feel formal acting training such as QUT? Do you feel that kind of, you know, prepares you for that? Or as or you of the actor have to make a leap away from the traditional um, um, techniques that you learn perhaps? Yeah, I think um, formal training can sometimes be, uh, can sometimes apply a, a rigid mentality to approaching a character or a script. I think it's about picking what works to you or what excites you, what your triggers are to connect with with the character or to a world or to a particular context or period of time um so i think formal training definitely gives you that suit of armor like a like a toolbox almost of of things to kind of dig into and to use and you won't use everything like i haven't used everything that i've learned at qt but there are gems which i'll always hold with me um and always kind of hold on to and and i know will be my into a character I was playing a mathematician, but jazz music was something that was a, a huge in for me. And I felt the rhythm of jazz music and, and kind of the world of the play really lent itself to the, I guess, the the irreverence of jazz music. Um, so that was a weird hook that I found that really helped kind of just immerse myself in that world. It's a matter of what works for you, I think. Sure, um, sure, sure, sure. So yeah. have you... Have you got advice for a, a young actor or kind of, you know, somebody, a, a young yeah. actor? What have you got for them? Yeah. I think my advice to, to young actors, um, and this is personally what's worked for me, is I just think routine is the most important thing. If you have a life which is fulfilled and varied and, and excites you um, and filled with so many different life experiences and, and different perspectives, that experience is going to be in you and that's going to inform the characters that you portray. Um, I don't think you can be too boxed in to just the sole pursuit of, and the sole mentality of I'm an actor, acting is what I do. You need a number of different things to color your life because that's, what's going to color your characters. Um, I think. I'm going to stop you there, Patrick, because that was, that's, that's the, that's the quote we have to finish on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today for a kind of a little uh, uh, a little little chat. Is there anything you've got coming up or is about to be released that um, we should keep an eye out for? Um, yeah, there's a there's a couple of theatre uh, there's a theatre project which I can't actually talk about yet, but that's in the pipeline um, in uh, early next year back in Brisbane. So I'll be back in Brisbane to have a play on stage and um, yeah, a few little auditions which are floating around and are out there and hopefully come back my way soon enough but um yeah in the meantime plenty to keep busy with and yeah
It's going to enjoy the summer as well. (laughs) Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for your time, mate. You take care. Awesome. Thanks, Craig.